Oh, well, hello. Um, decided to come down today and uh, work on my models. Found some time to do that. So, I'm working on my Starliner some more. That's really all I've done today. I was thinking about working on the wagon, but I'm just not feeling it. So, I'll set that down for now. Um, I was just working on the interior here, uh, doing some painting, because I wanted to repaint it. I'm using these Americana craft paints. They're acrylics. Um, you can get these or paint similar to it at like Hobby Lobby or Michaels. Like this one is just a generic brand. They're like anywhere from like 50 cents to $1.50. So they're really cheap and a good deal. And they were good in airbrush too, which uh, I might be getting my airbrush out here in a little bit to play around with it. But uh, anyhow, so the car, I'm just getting everything fit here. Uh, the interior has a little bit of a gap there, so I'm gonna have to like glue that in, I guess, whenever I put it, have it all finished and put it together, because I don't care for that gap and stuff. But it's looking spectacular. I'll show you guys. Yeah, it looks quite nice. Um, yeah, the rust comes through really good. You can see the texture really nicely. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it on this video because it's going to be kind of low quality, but you can see that texture in there, and yeah, all the rust and stuff. Then I'll work more on the uh, weathering of the bottom. It needs a little bit more help, but it is looking good too. And then I'll probably start on the suspension, and if I have solder around here make my headers and do my engine stuff and actually after I get all that stuff done uh, it'll just be a matter of putting in the suspension rear end and gluing it all together and it'll be all done so but I, I I'm gonna take lots of time on this one because this is like my big build for the year my nice build for the year this is been an ongoing project. I've probably been working on this since last year, actually. So, yeah. I want to make this look nice. I think it's looking very well so far. Um, thinking for the seat, I'm gonna, I'll either use this one that I picked out for it from a Pontiac. What was it? A Pontiac, uh, GP or something like that, and then, or I will take this seat, which is what I think I'm going to do right now, let's pop this car apart, and I think I'll take out this seat, oh, I'm going to set my hand in the paint, <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to pop this seat out of this car, yeah, actually, I think I'll use this one, it matches it better, in my opinion. Yep, and I'll just slide that one in here for the time being. So there we are. Yeah, that'll look that'll look real nice. I love this seat because I did a nice job on the weathered leather look. Oh. Should clean that up though. And yeah. So I gotta go and find some stuff to make me a cage out of. I'm just gonna kinda look around my house and see what I've got. Um, should have some. I might use some metal tubing for it. But that's what's going on here. Um, yeah, start on the engine today. And we'll see where I can go from there. Actually, I'll probably put in the suspension and everything so I can get the chassis all put together so it'll be um, able to 
so I'll kind of be able to see how everything's fitting and how it will look in the end. Got to kind of figure out how to raise it up in the front a little more, and it will be. And it should look really nice when it's done.